<laughs> well, what have you got going on today? Well, <clears throat> I'm waiting for a rotor yet for the brakes. But uh, the tanks are in. <coughs> And that filter and this fuel pump needs a minimum of 150 PSI holes. So I had to buy new pressure holes. Okay. Was that easy to find or hard? No, we ordered it in. So in the future, if he has trouble, these pumps are special. And so are these filters. They're not going to be in stock. So I suggest that these boys have a fuel pump, and a filter on hand. Are they expensive? Or? Probably pretty expensive. This filter here is an ordinary filter. That's just suction line. So that's not under pressure. <coughs> and if you look in here, this hose here draws from a tank. That hose draws from a tank. And this hose is a return into the tank because okay. the fuel goes in one end and what it doesn't use goes out in back into the tank okay. is that normal for no that's what they ordered they wanted uh they wanted fuel injection they got it okay. now the doors are on and uh right. i put new slides in and I had to cut these, uh, well, I think you saw that yeah. before, to make them fit. Fit into the tanks, fit in. So now, if he wants to, he shuts this valve off, undo that hose, take the tank out. If he wants to uh, change a hose or belts on his hydraulic pump, eh? Okay. Is that going to be a hard task or no really no but the way it was before is no good and i want to put a a battery uh master switch in here shut off so at the end of the day he flicks it and there's no power going into this and no risk of fire or no risk of fire okay so is this paint cured now or yeah the paint is pretty well cured it takes seven to eight days and we're on day four or something like it's it's still going to be easy to mark up i'm waiting for the rotor then i can put the the brake in i have the cylinders here and uh this is the lights and the light bar oh right yeah you got that so uh that's oh. your light bar. I'll adjust it yet. Okay. And uh, this is your headlights. Oh, wow. Very bright. So, uh, anyway. Top one's still on. Yep. Go. I got to adjust that so it's shining out more. Okay. But that's all in. <laughs> so, uh, I see you got the action bomb bombardier. I'm yeah over here what have you been doing here well i'm i'm caught up on johannesson for now until i get parts so uh i want to put the fuel tank in here and finish putting the exhaust in okay. i i got the the headers on but i'm not finished to uh to the exhaust you're talking about the exhaust pipes right? yeah the yeah. exhaust pipes that's right there right there okay so you put that on this one is rigged up now with uh, with uh, the light bar. I just haven't put the switch in yet. But oh, you got that one in too. Yeah, okay. but uh, it's the the switch is not hooked up yet. This is a bigger light bar. This is a thirty two. That one's a twenty four. But this this one will be just like daylight when okay. it's on. And these are we're staying with the original lights. These here? these are original lights. Yep. Okay. Uh, battery's not hooked up. I don't think. No. no. Okay. So on this one, I got the master cylinder to mount, the drive shaft to cut and fit, 
and I'm waiting for a rotor for this one. Okay, and is that coming from a machine shop? Yeah, it's oh, coming from the machine shop. Is that locally, or are you, is yeah, well, you sent away for that one? No, no, he's the only one in town, and he's tied up, so I got to... Wait your turn. Wait my turn. Okay. Then I'll put the floor in and and whatnot. So... Please. Oh, another thing is I'm going to put chains on here so that the doors can only go open that much. I'll put a bracket from here to here and a, a chain on so that <coughs> doors aren't flying open. So what's the ETA on both these machines? Are you hoping you have them done by Christmas? or? Well, by the 20th of December, I'm going to Edmonton whether they're finished or not. And I got another one in the shop there that's got to come in and go out. So it's going to keep me busy. All depends what happens with with uh, my machinist. Eh? Okay. So that's it for today. And I see you got uh, one of your buddies helping you, Randy. Yeah. Randy, you want to be famous on YouTube? No. No, there you go. With the he's he's waiting for a ground wire to find a ground wire on the coil here. Otherwise, we can't make the RPM gauge work. Okay. And is that just something you this have guy? Or do you have it in stock? Or no, no. I if I, the gate the RPM gauge is on. It's just I need the right hook up to the coil. This guy bought the whole setup when he put the electronic in. This guy just got the he didn't get the RPM box and all that stuff. There's two di different kinds of distributors. This one is an easy hookup. You just go to the to the neutral side of the coil and and you got rpm any tip of the day for the guys maybe something on ladder safety or well don't climb to the top <laughs> rung of a ladder when you're okay. and concentrate on what you're doing you're liable to take a dive okay and maybe use like the the, the, the new rated ladder versus the painting ladder yeah okay. that'd be a good idea Okay, well, progress, progress, progress every day. Dad's seven days a week out here, you guys. Yeah, but only about four hours a day. Well, I think that's a slow day for you lately. They uh, sure would like to, you guys to comment on the videos and like and subscribe. Quite a few people are watching our videos, but uh, we don't have uh, everybody subscribed yet. So get yourself an email address and uh, get an account on YouTube and subscribe. It helps our channel. Look at that. Channel. This guy has a fire extinguisher. Well, he does have a fire extinguisher. Right well, we there. We'll have to take it out and see if it's actually current. Well, it's a uh, Walmart special. I don't think there's even a gauge on it. Oh, well. But the dad's a busy man here, so is Randy, so we're going to say goodbye for today. And uh, again, please comment, like, subscribe. 